Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the first video on JSK Gaming. Um, I'm gonna be starting a new series on the map. Um, hold on, let me find it. On, yeah, Coastal Gem. And the series name is gonna be... Hold on. Each word. Okay, so if we get enough like subscribers and likes on this series, I will come out with merch about the series, probably like a Beechwood FD or Beechwood PD sh hoodie and shirts and stuff. But, yeah, we, this is gonna be a fully vanilla realistic. So, we're gonna be using a lot of high density buildings in the series. And you want it to be a very walkable city. I'm hoping this series goes on for like a few years and hopefully it's like it gets bigger so but yeah so while I'm building this okay first off We're just going to get a uh, quick little grid pattern going. So, okay, 2400 in that direction. Oh, that doesn't work, so we're going to do 1800 in this direction. That's a good start. So this is going to be our main road, our collector, everything and anything we've ever wanted. Just making sure it's straight. But, yeah. So, in this city, we're going to have a lot of um, beach front properties and you know, all that jazz. But, I mean, if you want to see more of this, if we get like enough views, I'm hoping to make another video and post it tomorrow. So I'm recording this and it's Tuesday. This will come out on Wednesday. And then the next one will come out Thursday. But I do play console City Skylines. So if you have anything against that, I'm just letting you know. So, um, I don't want to ruin our beachfront property too much by adding in all this stuff, but I'm just going to add, you know, the necessities. This map is a, beaches are always an issue if you don't have any rivers, because you always have to add s the um, water pump thing and the sewage farther away from each other than you normally would because hold on yeah because if you don't then because there's no flow and if you don't it's all gonna go in collapse but yeah this 
is my first of hopefully many videos on this channel. And yeah. So. Oh, I forgot the power. So. I need some. city I'm gonna do mostly green and right now the only DLC I have is plazas and promenades so and the map pack but you're not gonna see the map pack oh, no. it's a big issue but um yeah if enough of you guys like this I'll make a big series out of it, but if not, you know, I'll just completely end it. Fun. But, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really do. So, yeah, let's talk about, um, what this series is gonna be like. So, I have a little bit of a plan. In this area, we're going to make it, like, super populated and mostly residential. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to have a starter city, obviously. But, I mean, that's going to be pretty much it. Um, so... Hold up, let me just do something real quick. Alright. So... I mean, we have a pretty high need for industrial and commercial, so we'll put more and residential. We have a pretty high need for everything, so I'm gonna try to put the industrial as far away as possible. But I'm gonna put it on this side of the main road. Because if we put it on the other side, then it'd run into our grid. So, what the highway layout is right now. Hold up, let me just grab a car. So, it's like... I don't know why I care so much about the car. I don't know why I care so much about the car. But, yeah. So you'd either go, have to go that way if you were entering the city, or if you were in this, you'd go down and just turn into here. So, let's zone this up. Um, we're just going to leave that without power until buildings start popping up. Um, I am going to add pipes underneath the... Alright, this is... Okay, so now we can take power lines from here instead of... Having to hold up. Yeah. 
Alright, so now our industrial is powered. Everything should be powered, but for some reason, they're just skipping out on this middle zone. Probably because there's no need for residential right now. So I'm just going to add a uh, another line for now. This power line is very temporary. Water availability. Let's see what the issue is. I forgot to add the power. Okay, it's fun. Alright. So now that we have that, everything should be watered up. Yep. But yeah. My main plan for this city is just to, you know, enjoy it. We're now making money, which is amazing. So, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna end this video whenever we reach. Not a little hamlet, but whenever we reach R Worthy Village, either Worthy Village or Tiny Town, probably Worthy Village. Worthy Village. I mean, sorry. Um, just because I'm trying to make these videos shorter so that I can produce them more. If you know what I mean, just so that you guys aren't like, hold up, with a little um. Magic. Let me just get rid of this. Hold on. Perfect. Now it's daytime. And I can see my city. I wouldn't even call this a city, man. To be honest. So now these power lines, power are connected, or they should be. Okay, so now we can get rid of this and get our monies back. No monies back. Perfect. Okay, just what we wanted. All right. Okay. So we're about to reach a little hamlet, but to do that, we need more industrial. And we're already low on power, which we're already low on power because we have windmills. They aren't too efficient, but I really don't want to waste a bunch of money on this cool power plant. Because not only is it a hefty price of 19 grand, but we have to import all the coal until we get like, you know, coal but it'll be a lot quicker and more efficient in my opinion probably save us a lot more money so then we won't have to well you know like I don't know just waste money placing because these wind turbines aren't cheap either 6k so like so if you have three of those and they're all producing max You make 24 power on one of these, which is a grand more. Makes a lot more. Makes like 30k. Just nice. 40. Nice. So, you get really get cheaper, but you also gotta think about imports, unless you have a ore specialization. So, 
I said realistic city. I'm gonna be very strict with that. I can only run sewage pipes unless it's like here under the roads. Just because I mean you're not gonna have real life sewage pipes like all over the place. Like let's say there's oh there we go, a little hamlet. A little hamlet. So now we have to place landfill sites, medical clinics, and elementary schools. So, let's pause. Right. Okay. So the convenient thing about this, having this collector here, is because we already pre-built it. And we can place our um, buildings right on the uh, road. So let's just get this in. Because normally, if you were trying to save money and your collector wasn't what it was going to fully be, my co this isn't what my collector is going to fully be. No. Not even close. But it is actually pretty close. So not even close is wrong. Because I'm gonna make a bunch of bicycle lanes so people can bike. <laughs> That's pretty basic. I mean, you should know that the bicycle lanes are for people to bike. But one issue on adding that main road so close to the highway connection. I don't know why I did that. That was a bit of a mistake. Because now I'm gonna have to expand this way. Now, noted, I'm going to add another main road down the road. Alright, let's pause. But, alright, 90. So, we're on console, so we're obviously going to do 100% vanilla. Because that's the only thing we can do. Just refund this whole entire road, because I screwed up. The annoying thing about this game sometimes is it's like if you screw up, you're done. Alright, so let's just add a road here. These roads aren't perfect. They really aren't. Alright, let's just add our... We are doing a grid pattern. So, because this is super realistic and I'm trying to make... And I'm going to make like a backstory. Um... We are also, this is located in Upper California, on the coast. Now, this might be a little bit unrealistic, so I'm going to say it's an island. But I can't see the whole map right now, which is a big issue. So, I mean, never mind. Yeah, we'll say this is on the coast. But, yeah, as I said, the name is Beachwood, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to change the name because I spelled Beach wrong, a little bit embarrassing, but, you know, it's all, it's all good, right, right, yeah, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, next episode, instead of the two E's at the bottom, it'll be Two A, two. I mean, one E and one A. Um. So yeah. Try and keep it a half hour tops on these videos, just because. Well, if we don't reach our goal to worthy village today, I'll be fine. I'm. I'm probably gonna end it at 25 minutes, just so you guys don't have to sit through my. I voice the whole entire time. So, yeah. But leave in the comments below if you if you want me to do anything offline. If you don't want me to do that, that's fine. I just and I know it'd probably be annoying. Like if I did that. So, there will be a few live streams where I will 
just constantly um play. Where um I record and it'll be like an hour video, but not most of these videos will be twenty five minutes long. That's what I'm talking about for pretty much every video. Except for like special videos where maybe there's like Maybe I get a new DLC or something. Alright, so the next DLC I'm probably gonna get is Green Cities. Uh oh, we need way more industrial. Let's just paint that in. What? Yeah. Um, if you guys want me to play like a different game or start a different series, just comment below if you don't mind but please subscribe I know I shouldn't say that I'm sorry don't subscribe you do what you want this is a f do whatever you want to be honest I don't I hate whatever people say hey, please subscribe in the next couple of seconds here a rat's gonna come in your house or subscribe in the next couple of seconds or else this is gonna happen and that's gonna happen all that stuff's gonna happen. They just, I mean, common sense, right? But it's a bunch of reviews. I mean, subscribers. Oh yeah, but if you have any ideas on what we should do for the city, and like I said, comment below or. Do whatever you like, to be honest. But, yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh, we have a big residential thing. So I'm just gonna pause right real quick and add another good. To be honest. It's logical fix right now would be to cut over this highway with our main road. We don't quite have the money for that right now, but what we do have the money for is to add this. Sorry for my accent sometimes. So yeah, thousand two hundred, perfect. Okay. So now if we do that. Okay, this should be good. But now the how ooh, we're low on money. Don't no I don't I don't I don't normally like to go this low. But I mean you do what you gotta do. Survive. To be a hundred percent honest. Very temporary. Wanna keep it low. I'm sorry for stuttering back there too. It's just um, I have a weird accent. It's like Pennsylvanian and then part British and then part um, like country. Ooh, it's twenty. All right. Well, we're really close to where the village. So we're just gonna get to there and then probably end the video. We're gonna have to go from here. Alright, so back there, we had to do this because this isn't gonna work. Hold up, let me just try to fix this intersection. Intersection. That's no, not an intersection, but. It's the closest word I could find. Okay. There we go. So now we have all water, all power. Get more industrial. I really don't. Oh, nice. Worthy village. Now. 
first things first. Pause. I'm gonna add the cat. I'm gonna add the police station right here. And I'll add the firehouse at the beginning of the next episode.